everybody what is going on is me the lead ace we are live action you already know what it is it looks like bandai namco they are really doing good with the marketing of bleach rebirth of souls because as you can see we got not one not two but three character gameplay trailers now these trailers aren't long i think they're about one minute each so i'm gonna do all three in this one video we have ichigo uryu and of course rukia i'm um, gonna start out with ichigo rukia then uryu i'm glad they're doing this i think they're gonna do character trailers for all the characters we know about so far then i think they're gonna release either a uh, second trailer showcasing new characters or they're just gonna start pushing out individual character trailers so enough of the chit chat let's get into this all right soul reaper son gets you Come on, let's do this. Right, let's check out these combos. Right, one, two, three. Mm. Well, he did the side gets. Reverse fate. I'm now losing. Here. High damage to the opponent, easy to handle. Hey, I like that. That was pretty smooth, man. Look, of course we're going to do a playback because the words are going by too fast. I'm trying to look at the action and read the words, you know. So uh, let's go back and see what was actually being said. Okay, it says a very powerful and resourceful end fighter. Ichigo is a substitute soul reaper who fights using his sword and hides an unknown power within him. Okay, reverse action is key to offense and defense in this game. In addition to the effects of the normal reverse action, Ichigo is given various enhancements such as a boost in basic performance, changes in some actions, and an increase in damage, this thing's in a way, increase in damage from the Kikon move. Okay, that's pretty much, you know, it seems like, Ichigo seeing this how he doesn't have a lot of abilities and techniques especially this version of Ichigo right here it only makes sense that he's gonna boost in you know overall basic things now the special flash attack a move that attacks while charging forward when successfully executed the attack can be continued if an additional input is made during the attack okay I like that I can see how that will actually be uh, helpful and of course I like how they give an explanation while showing it actually being done okay spiritual pressure move wielding an attack used by wielding Zangetsu that momentarily makes Ichigo invincible. An additional powerful attack is activated when the success we hits. And I love how they gave him that attack. Even though we only seen him do the spin when he went to save Rukia. We only seen him do that. I really wish he had used it more in battle because the first time he seen Zangetsu use it, the real Zangetsu, he actually said like, damn, it never occurred to me to even use Zangetsu like that. So I'm glad they put that on here as a move you know uh, because I get it his move set can be you know limited I know Ichigo he's known for just swinging slash and slash and obviously a lot of characters are but with Ichigo he doesn't have a lot of technique so it does make sense that they had him do that I like how they actually did that now for the awakening Ichigo's performance speed and defense dramatically increases as well as the number of additional special flash attacks allowing for more aggressive attacks to be carried out sounds you know exactly like what his Bunkai does and it looks like yep as expected I mean for the ones who've been following this game I'm pretty sure so many other content creators have been following this game and doing videos and breakdowns yeah that looks like the case yeah Kampaku sticks you know the racy sticks or bars or whatever they get knocked down to two or maybe one possibly two then you can activate the Bunkai I think um that can kind of keep it balanced in a sense because just imagine some people they will start the match and immediately go bunkai or as soon as that gauge gets full bam they go bunkai some will prefer it that way who knows maybe it'd be a mold where it, it can be like that but i, I do kind of like that because like i said before to me that'd be a flex you get you push them you push them to the corner push them to the wall and they activate their bunkai their awakening and you still whoop them to me that's gonna be the flex of this game because I get it 
when the awakening happened, the person whose back is against the wall, they're going to get this boost of confidence, you get cocky like bet. Now I got this mode or this form activated. Now I'm going to give you the business, but you can still get defeated like that. So I think that's going to be a big flex. So far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing, man. I'm liking the contrast, the lighting, the colors, the cell shading it looks right. It looks good. It looks modern. It's not that heavy, heavy cell shading. It's not the type of cell shading with that thick ass black outline. Everything looks good and smooth. I love the effects, the blood, the slashes, especially that Bunkai they were showing, man. It just looks real good. And it looks like Ichigo, he's an overall balanced character, sort of like how, um, Mario is in Smash Brothers or Ryu is in Street Fighter. Maybe a cure in the Virtual Fighter series. But yeah, so far it's looking good. Now, on to Rukia. I already know they're not gonna beef and chatter Rukia. Beef and chatter is a funny term I use. You know, 8,000 million years ago when I was a teenager, I used to work at Arby's and I used to tear them beef and cheddars up. <laughs> so basically beef and cheddar is my way of saying half ass. You know, I know they're not gonna beef and cheddar Rukia because she has a big giant fan base. You know, she's a fan favorite among so many Bleach fans, so let's see what they do with her. Sort of nice, here we go. I'm going to beat you here. Mmm, she's way faster than each go. Shaka Ho with the Keto. Shaka Ho, Barker Eye. So called Tui. Be honest that's why a lot of you come to this channel that's why some of you have been watching me for a long time i'm gonna keep it real i never thought i would say this but that gameplay was more impressive than each of y'all's i never thought i was i i know i know because we all know i don't care about rookie i know i look listen 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 all right it's not that she's a bad character she just didn't grasp me i mean she's upon getting in the bleach for the first time i'm like okay she's just a regular ass shinigami yeah i get a character development she got stronger training now spoiler now she's a captain you know it's like i get it but still she just yeah i do like how she's not that old you know damsel in distress you know i'm just this weak character this weak female character i do like how she's not like that but uh Man, that right there, first off, she seems faster than Ichigo, obviously. And how she did, well, she did uh, Shaka Hole, Drakurai, and she did one other keto. Damn, I'm actually having a quick uh, brain fart. She did Shaka Hole, Drakurai, and Sokasui. Probably pronouncing that wrong. No. In my defense, I have a list. I know some of you are like, what? This OG Bleach fan, he can't pronounce the words right? Uh, it's ninjas out there like that. Calm down. But the fact that she can do three different Ketos. So it looks like you got the slash combos. And then you can implement the Keto into it. And one thing I noticed was that when Renji hit her, it wasn't doing like how I said it did in um, uh, the Bleach game I had on the Wii where each blade would hit you just it wasn't doing that it was just straight up hitting her i did notice that and i like that that they got rid of that even though it was a little bit more believable in a wee one i just like that but hey i'll take it um another thing so i see her awakening is her uh shikai you know sort of like shida yuki so it's like that that makes sense i like that this is the rukia of course that does not have bunkai so one would think what would her awakening be just a overall increase in spiritual pressure and you know spread everything it's like no i like how they actually did that but what's crazy i actually seen a lot of other fighting games like this where a character would do an attack and the attack would show up right above your feet 
Because you see the pillar of ice showed up right up under Renji. So I wonder. But no matter of fact, let's see real quick if there's a way. There's like a, a pre-warning to see. Yeah, there is. Yep. So you see the ice form under the ground real quick. That'll be your chance to flash up. But just imagine she's hitting you with the combos and then she hits you with the keto and then do it. I think that's going to be very, very uh, effective. But let's go back, of course, to the wordplay, what they were saying. A kind-hearted soul reaper with an old-fashioned way of speaking. She has plenty of resources to adapt to her opponents in battle. These words went away so quick. I think I made it to... She has plenty and it just it just went away. So right here, of course. How do number 31? Shaka Hole. And it's the ongoing bleach joke for some of you who don't know. If you really think about the terms like shock a hole. You know, I mean some of you probably already know. But create combos and various forms of power with the shaka hole by holding the input. Mm. So I wonder if you can hold the input. But still execute, you know, additional combos and then let go, you know, so you can like link them together. Um, released while stepping backwards, Brock Ryan makes Rukia momentarily invincible, allowing for punishing attacks. Ooh, okay. Damn, so she can step back and dodge an attack. Bam, and do the Brock Ryan. And I'm starting to think every character will have an attack that will, or a spiritual pressure move where there will be momentarily invincible maybe that's how all the spiritual pressure moves will be uh let's see hold on number 33 so a follow-up attack that can be used after rukia lunges and slashes successfully huh man and you know what i like about this is that you see hold on okay okay that's just the effects when they're standing on air. I know they're not standing on air uh, because I thought that was actually ice real quick, you know, under her, uh, under her feet. So her awakening, the ice effect, that will be, you know, realistic with Toshiro and uh, her Bunkai. Or Toshiro while he's activating Shikai or Bunkai. So her awakening, strengthen Rukia overall capabilities and transform her spiritual pressure moves to complement so that I should Yuki. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Bam. Wow. Yep, so it looked like she timed out. See, that's what I like about this. I, I do like that. The fact that she knocked Renji back while he was in midair. Bam. She made the pillar of ice show up. So those kind of mechanics is not it's about the brains. A lot of these fighting games, it's not just about memorizing the combos. Of course, you got to know and study your opponent or the character, but you have to be smart because that was a smart thing to do right there. They could have just been spamming and spamming it, but you knock them out the air. So, and then you do as soon as they land, bam. So, yeah, uh, I got to admit, so far, Rukia had the most impressive trailer. All right, on to my brother's favorite. You know, I need to ask him if he's even going to get this game. You know, I, my brother, he hasn't bought a fighting game in 8,000 years. And he is a Bleach fan. Not as big as me, but he is a Bleach fan. He He's just going by the anime. No filler. So, he's currently caught up in the anime. So, he's, you know, waiting for the new season. Anyway, Uryu is his favorite. His overall favorite. So, let's see how they do Uryu. Because I know he's going to be the cheapest one in here. See how they do this motivator. Progress. I was able to read all that that time. Let's begin. Looking smooth. Everything looking smooth. Here I come. They gave him a, a parry counter. I bet. The let's see. Oh, the Ranzo 10 guy, of course. Makes sense. Ooh, let's see. Damn, that looks so much sweeter on here. Sorry, the task be performed. Alright. Let's uh look back on that. 
So first thing first, as expected, this motivator looks cheap. I mean, okay, I get it. That's just who he is. That's how he's designed. It's obvious. Of course, that's basically all he has. It's not the only thing he has. You know, he has other abilities and techniques, but when it comes to Quincy's, that's what they're heavily known for. Yes, there are Quincy's and Star Knights that have straight up melee. But they can also use bow and arrow, but some choose melee over the bow and arrow. But with Uryu in this case, man, he is going to be a pain. You say Quincy Arrow. Fires an arrow forward. If the arrow hits the opponent, Uryu uses Hironiyaku to move in front of the opponent and does a follow-up attack that fires numerous arrows. <sighs> right there. So, But you know what I wonder? See, now that says spiritual pressure move. I wonder if to keep it balanced... He's just only used, I forget the name. It's the sword that can double as an arrow. I wonder if that's his main attack, but you can only use the arrows once your spiritual pressure gauge is up. That I wonder. That'll make it balanced. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. The Celestin Snyder. Yeah, that one. By holding Celestin Snyder, who <laughs> you absorbs an opponent's attacks and fires back a powerful attack. His own. They had the audacity to give this motivator a counter repair reversal. This reminds me of, uh, I think, Joker from Smash Brothers. What was his name for Third Strike? Remy? I think that's his name. That was his special, I think. Or his super. Yeah, so that that's going to be, man, like, why, why would they do that? Why would they do that? It's all, all, he can already keep motivators at bay. Or as the newcomers call it, uh, zoning. See, back in my day, that was never a turn. When I was growing up, up, we had called that just playing cheap. Now I get it over time. Oh, people say, no, that's an actual strategy or tactic. The zoning, just, just keep them at bay, push them away, zoning, whatever. I know people are going to be zoning a lot with Uryu. And it is, uh, it's going to be a pain. And obviously his reverse fate, as expected, Lorenzo guy for his awakening. Uryu enhances his damage output and the amount of spiritual pressure he can acquire, making it easier for his spiritual pressure move. That's gonna be lethal, man. Damn. I think Uryu is going to be it's just, and it's Quincy let still. This right here looks smooth. It, it looks smooth. The way they did it, it looks so much better, man. And I, I get it. I already knew it, but it really hits home because, you know, with me being a Bleach fan, when the Ninja Storm series came out, um, one of my boys told me that it looked a lot better on the game. And years and years ago, I was thinking like, wait a minute. So these developers made it look better than the actual series? Like, how, how could that actually be? But I get it. I, I see different angles, you know, different type of uh, lighting, etc. Because I like the way he, he grabbed that arrow. That was smooth. So I wonder if this is the only attacks they're going to have in terms of their awakening because I know they they have to have more. Then again, maybe so, so Ichigo, his awakening, he'll go Bunkai. But maybe his special while in awakening, you know, how Ichigo takes over. Um, So his awakening, he activates Ranzo Tengai, but within Ranzo Tengai, he does the let steal. Maybe it's like that, but maybe with DLC or part two, they implement other moves and new moves, you know, for other, you know, variants of the character. I hope they don't do that stuff where there's like three, four Ichigos and all, like basically multiple Uryus, multiple, no, don't, don't do that. Yeah, Uryu Ishida, Quincy. Strong with ranged attacks that can be performed unitarily to keep opponents at bay. Yes, y'all have to call it keep them at bay. Now that's, man. But you know what? The main thing, though, this is more proof that this will take place. I mean, this is going up to the end of the rank card art because this stage right here, this is another thing I like. We've got to see new stages. I think Ichigo is in Katakura Town. Rukia stage. Was that nighttime Katakura Town? I could be wrong. And this right here, yeah, this is when Uryu was training with Ryukin when he lost his powers, you know. Had to get hit with the Queen's ear, I think, like a few millimeters from the heart. I think the left of the heart, right of the heart. Anyway, this is proof right here. So maybe we will get Ryukin. I know for a fact, we don't know Grimjaw. He's going to be on here. He's just going to, I know it. He will be one of my mains. But yeah, so far, it's looking good, man. It is looking good. 
And you know what's crazy? Stuff has been popping up on my feed about drama regarding this game already. Other YouTubers talking about this game is complicated, it's gonna fail, the system looks bent half-assed already. Uh, apparently some YouTuber, they say, he, you could tell he didn't watch the series or he lied about it because he was saying they're making up the words. You know, like Kompaku and they, he was saying that's not a word. And it, it's, it's, it's crazy the drama I'm seeing already about this game. And it's not even out yet. I don't know if y'all noticed about all the Bleach content creators. I never said out the best. But y'all rarely, if ever, see me caught up in any kind of drama or he say, she say bull crap. It, it's, it's, it's just Bleach. This is anime, this is video games, man. I'm just chill, cool, laid back, man. So, but whatever. Anyway, when this game comes out, I don't think it'll be $60, $70. No. If it is, I'm going to get it anyway. And I hope they have some kind of limited edition, collector's edition, or special edition. Yes, I will pre order it. Um, but I think it may be $40, maybe $50. But again, I'm going to get it on PS5 and Xbox. I can't wait to see it, man. So, I like everything I've seen. Give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Who do you think had the best trailer, and who are you looking forward to manning? Other than that, it's me, the Elite Ace. Thanks for watching. Signing out.